Hello everyone. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of an update on my thinking about how to reopen ballet as a result of it being closed because of the pandemic. So I said something about this, I think, in March. Uh, you know, I said, look, this is not going to be a, a two-week challenge. It's going to be a marathon. And, you know, I don't have any specialized knowledge any more than anyone else in ballet. Um, but anyway, that was my thought, and it, it's kind of played out that way. So I just want to give you an update now that we've come, whatever it's been, seven, eight months, something like that. So what do we do as a community? How do we get open and move forward? So here's one thing I'm, I'm going to say. Leadership, let me define leadership for you quite quickly. Leadership is the willingness to shoulder responsibility, massive responsibility. And leadership is required most when everything is going wrong. And so if you're in a leadership position and everything's going right, you get a bit of, you know, everything's kind of going your way, right? The momentum is in your favor. Companies can kind of, I mean, there's leadership's always needed, but they can kind of run themselves when everything's going just right. When everything goes wrong, as it has and is going, that's when you're going to find out what leadership is or isn't, right? And so let me give you some thoughts on that. Here's how we get open, in my opinion. Let me start by saying this, and I've said something like this before, but sort of work with me here. So once our company, our company is established, right? We can, in other words, we can have live performances, we can be in studio together, that circumstance. It will take me three to five seasons to be profitable, like, like any other business, something like that. That's an estimate. Or, or whatever, my company or any company. There is a roadmap to that to becoming profitable. And this is gonna be a key feature of ballet having any future at all. But let's talk about how do we open. Okay, I think vaccines, uh, vaccine is not the thing, it's part of it possibly, but that's not, I think, the thing to focus on in our industry. Because of the type of virus it is, it's going to mutate. There's, there's you know, word I'm reading that it's already mutating in other countries that are in the second wave. Russia being one of them, where you know kids are getting sick, and, and you know I can't verify this. Obviously, I don't have the expertise for that, but you know the flu, the normal flu virus mutates all the time from season to season. They're the similar kind of virus, a coronavirus, and so this one's going to mutate as well. So I'm not sure that vaccine is the thing to pin our hopes on. I, I would bet no. What we need is readily available, inexpensive, rapid testing like a strip, where you, like maybe lick the strip and you know, a minute or two later, you see if you, know, you're, you uh, have COVID or not. And then you go into the theater or whatever, wherever you're going in the studio. I think that's going to be key. And obviously there's margins of errors on tests and tests get, tend to get better over time. So I think it's gonna be a combination of testing, vaccine and therapeutics. So if, if and when you get sick, you know, you, it's not a, a terrible result for you. So that's that side of it. So I think that's where we're headed. So I'm looking at this now, and, and again, this is just me taking an educated guess. I think what we're doing is we're looking at a wholesale restart of ballet. I really feel that it's, it's, it's closing one chapter of history which is a very long history. We're, we're talking about centuries of history. I think we're, we're done with that. And now we're opening the next chapter. So let me give you the sort of the optimistic view here, which is what I take. I think we should focus on the opportunity here, the opportunity to create the kind of ballet world that we want. Right? And, and, and instead of remaining anchored to the past, that is just kind of the mother load of bad ideas. There's some good ideas. There's some genius that, that has come forward through history. But there's a lot of bad ideas, and we just don't need those anymore. And this is that opportunity to cut that loose. You know? And the key to building the new ballet world is education. And I have that curriculum right now ready to go. 
and it's, it's at our institute, and it's our new master class series, which I already talked about. And I think the last podcast or one before it, something like that. So that's kind of the prognosis. That, that's how I kind of think things are going to go. Obviously, anything can change at any time. But I think we, we might want to start looking at it as a, as a wholesale restart and focus on what will create profitable ballet companies. And so, you know, I'll talk more about that as time goes on. And ultimately, as, as a person who I think I'm kind of in a leadership position here, is I'm going to lead by example. I'm just going to show you, well, this is what we're doing, and this is how it's going. And then, you know, the, the rest of the, the institutions or the ballet world can decide for themselves how they want to move forward. So, okay. <laughs>